You mentioned earlier on that, you know, you've trained with champions and one specific double champion that you spent some time with recently was with Conor McGregor in Las Vegas during the, the tough tapings. How did that come about? How did you two cross paths? I know you guys are a part of the same management agency, Paradigm, but in terms of actually spending some time together on site in Las Vegas, how did that all come about for you? Well, I was out there in Vegas doing a, a Jose Cuervo commercial <laughs> with uh, Kevin Holland, uh, who's one of the big sponsors of the UFC. And I was out there. We went to the PI, hung out there. I got a little workout in. And that's where they were filming the tough show. So ended up meeting my manager. Obviously, me and Connor have have bumped into each other many, many, many times. And a uh, very nice guy. And uh, I was literally on uh, that Tuesday getting ready to go home. We were having lunch with one of my managers with Paradigm. And we were getting ready to go to the airport and got a call from Connor saying he wanted me to be a part, uh, a guest coach. So I was like, are you kidding me? Let's, let's go. Like, this is an opportunity I can't turn down. So ended up staying an extra three or four days, just being a guest, a uh, guest coach out there for his team, which was just awesome. You know what I mean? It was really cool. And I think one of the workouts, I actually did the workout, you know, Connor taught it and I did the workout with the guys, which was a lot of fun. I mean, he's, he's inspires his team man. he's, he's a hundred percent in, with his teams every step of the way, which, which I love because that's what I do for a living. You know, I teach for a living, but to be able to see him with the, the compassion for those guys and want to see them win, he puts everything into his, into his guys. And I, uh, I love that, man. I love that. Did you get a sense that he's got motivation, fire in the belly, the hunger to really kind of make a big comeback in the UFC? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can see it every time that he talks, Every, every punch that he threw, it was like he was swinging at somebody. You know what I mean? Like you could see it in him. And it's funny because when you take time off like that and you're a guy like him who has been at the top of the game for a long time, not just in the fight game, but in business, you have that urge to compete, right? You have that fire in you, that flame, to re and you see it rekindled in him. I'm, I'm excited to see him fight again for sure. How did you see that fight with him and Chandler go down? Oh, man, dude. I mean, if, if Conor McGregor, I, I was looking at his fist, he's got freaking mittens on that. He's got huge freaking mitts as hands. Like you put that on your dome piece anywhere, you're going out, which is why it almost seems very easy. When he hits you with that left hand, guys drop. No wonder when you got it like mitts like his. He's got bigger hands than I do. It's ridiculous, man. So, yeah, man, it, it's going to be a, a, a sick fight for sure. People kind of miss him, you know, use, utilizing that karate stance, right? Kind of, he kind of morphed from a karate stance, light on his feet, to more of a, a boxing stance in recent fights. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you'd like to see him return back to? Is, is kind of like that karate stance, the kind of like the performance he put on against Aldo, where he's very light and, you know, hoppy on his feet? Yes, actually. I mean, that's kind of where he lived for the longest and where he did, at, you know, he did his best. When he kind of got in that bike, boxer's mentality, you know, obviously training for the Mayweather fight, kind of got in that boxer stance, lost his movement. Um, and I think that's what made him good was his movement, was that karate stance, that movement, that in and out, that getting his guys to bait, you know, to faint and then attack. That's where he lived. But yes, I think he gets back to that. He's going to, he's going to obviously be, you know, be successful. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. And hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment, give me some feedback, let me know what you think. Share the video with your friends, help me blow this whole thing up. And hey, if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more conversations, more interviews, and more amazing video content coming soon.